Hello Aquarius, welcome to Brutal True Tarot and this reading is from 14th of April to 28th of April. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Aquarius. Ten of Skulls. Two of Grails, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Knives, and Six of Scepters. Now, this is really strange set of cards. Ten of Skulls and Two of Grails, and then Fortune, and then Ten of Knives. I feel that this person is missing something. Could be a Rex. Or could be someone who cheated on you. This person chose someone else over you or they couldn't stick to their commitment. This person is now feeling that they should have kept you close. This person is dealing with a karmic. They have got their lesson. And this person feels like you are watching with the stand of skulls. They feel that you are watching. They feel that you are getting some kind of information about them. I feel that this person is embarrassed. They feel that you know what they're going through. And um, this is something really embarrassing. This person is watching you. Uh, they're getting their karma. And um, they are really feeling ashamed of what they did. Because with this two of grails, this person is missing you now. This person wants you back. They want to love you. And they will make you talk this. In this week, you will know a lot through their body language. You may get some news from somewhere. That they are not doing well with this other person. Or there are a lot of differences between them. Two of grails is about some kind of romance that has been taken away from our life. And uh, here it's you. This person is now feeling that they should have loved you more. They should have respected you. They should have uh, given you what you deserved. With this fortune's wheel. This is something uh, they didn't realize. This person couldn't realize that this wheel of fortune was a blessing. And um, they should have treated this blessing with care. They should have been grateful for this. And now, with this ten of knives... I see that this person is hurt. They feel that this wheel of fortune is gone. And uh, there are a lot of things that they cannot express. That they cannot tell. This person is having this uh, anxiety. I feel that this person is uh, having some mental health issues at this point. They don't know what to do with themselves. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to say. How to tell you that they are regretting. They are sorry for what they did. This person wants to run away somewhere. As I said that they are embarrassed. They feel that you are watching and you would know everything. And you would laugh at them. Like, um, didn't I tell you? Or um, you may tell them that they are not worth anything. You may have moved on or you would simply take um, joy. In whatever um, they have to say. I mean, you will have this joy. Just because they are suffering. This person is feeling that um, you will have your loss in the end. And that is why they don't want to face you. This person is um, running away. Okay? Because uh, with the six of scepters, they feel like you have won. You had the last laugh. And um, they just can't stand it. They just can't believe what's happening and um, they don't know how to deal with the situation. So certainly this person is uh, looking at it like you have won some game and uh, you are into this. <laughs> this person feels like you are still watching them and um, you will make fun of them or you will kind of make them feel uh, useless or something like that. This person feels that whatever has happened... It will definitely make them 
weak or a loser in your eyes. And that's why this person is afraid of saying anything. However, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you. Two of knives. Death. Daughter of Grails. The Emperor. And uh, Nine of Scepters. With this two of knives, this person feels blinded. This person feels like uh, they have nowhere to go. They also feel like they are hurting themselves only. With this two of swords, this person feels like uh, whatever they are doing is always uh, ending into some kind of disaster. With this card of death, this person has lost a part of them. This person is devastated. They feel that by losing you, they lost a part of themselves. And um, this is something they are afraid of. Not getting you back and uh, feeling this death so close. I mean, they just cannot feel happiness or anything. They are numb. Also, we have this Nine of Scepters. With this Nine of Scepters, this is about some kind of realization, some kind of awakening, some kind of pain that has made them realize the truth. With this Nine of Scepters, this person definitely feels that there is something empty inside them. There is something that they cannot complete without you. This person also feels longing. And with this Daughter of Grails, they find you seductive, they find you mysterious, they find you amazing in every way. You may not know, but um, this person is craving for you. At this point, this person is craving for you physically and emotionally. They feel that only you can keep them happy or complete them in every way. Daughter of Grails is someone who is kind of naive. This person knows that... Um, you never had idea about what they were doing. I mean, um, this person may have kept you in a dark situation. I mean, they might have kept you in dark for a long time. And um, they know that it's their fault. Because with the Emperor, this person has got a strong personality. This person is fierce. They're passionate. They're amazing. But then they feel that they can manipulate things. This person is a master manipulator and um, sometimes that is a good quality. But here in this situation, this person knows that um, they have made the situation worse. They could have tr told you the truth as it is. And um, it would have been better if they would have told you themselves rather than you finding out something. This person feels that... Um, they know the things better and that is why this person often try to show others that they are right in everything and uh, this time this person is having a hard time in swallowing the truth they just can't accept what has happened though they know that they are responsible for it they know that um, they should have listened to you they should have uh, acted in a different way in fact, with this Nine of Scepters, this is about finding your other half. This person now feels like they found their other half and then they lost it. And uh, this is a weird story. This person just cannot blame themselves enough. But still, being an emperor, ego is too strong to accept their mistake. And that's why they're not saying a word. At least not in this week. Let's check an oracle message for you. Ancestors, there is a quivering so deep, only roots of your soil can lift the nakedness hidden within the walls made in silence. An ancient chill walking upon the spine. This person is going through a lot. This is, uh, this is an awakening phase. As I said that, uh, with this line of scepters, there is some kind of awakening, there is some kind of realization. So here we have this person sleeping. This person was sleeping all the time and now there is this um, sudden realization that uh, 
they couldn't see the truth because uh, their eyes were closed. They just couldn't realize what they had until they lost it. So now this person is listening to their inner voice and they are transforming. Okay, so this was the reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.